Oh, I know what this is. Cool. So recently, I decided to back this crowdfunding campaign called Hackupy, which is the hacking tool you can carry in your pocket. So this is from a company called SB Components, and they're based in UK. Hence, probably that's why I'm one of the most earliest people who have received these components. So it's not only the Hacky Pie I received, along with it, I also ordered a few other bits and bobs, which I will show to you later on. So please note, I almost have zero knowledge when it comes to uh, programming. I do have good friends, few of them who are actually top-notch programmers, uh, but this video mainly is about my point of view, the first impressions on what you can get from a company called um, SB Components. So I really look forward to it. So enough said, let's get into the unboxing and close-up. So here it goes. First off, let's take out the Hackupy package. Okay, so that's how it looks. Uh, so we can see the word Hackupy here. And then this, I believe, is a tiny LCD screen. And on the sideways, I believe this is for the micro SD um, slot. And this is for the function button, um, the SB components. And this basically, I believe, is covered by a 3D printed case, which makes it more uh, legit, doesn't it? That's pretty cool. Okay, the next one is the um, USB uh, UART slash I2C debugger. So that's something that you already seen in a USB. And this is how it looks like, people. Next one is the USB fingerprint dongle. Oh, it comes with this um, tiny piece here. This is where you place your fingerprint. Um, so I presume this can be used to unlock uh, special functions that you program onto your computer. That's pretty cool, isn't it? And lastly is the PyTalk 4G dongle kit. Wow, look at that. This is the aerial antenna, PyTalk 4G USB dongle. I believe this is where you put your SIM card. This is actually USB-C plug as well on one end and then computer, I believe. That is pretty cool, people, isn't it? So to run through what this Hackupy is, if you go to their crowdfunding campaign page, Hackupy is a compact USB device that can uh, be used for ethical hacking, okay? Ethical hacking and learning coding programs. So those who are into coding, obviously. Uh, so this actually has dual core ARM processor and a Pico uh, C, C++ SDK. Uh, MicroPython and a CircuitPython. So the application as an example, I'm sure there's way more things you can do, customize it, whatever you want, but it, you can also delete the uh, browser history. Why do you need to do that? <laughs> um, shut down a system or initiate camera for image and videos, reboot a PC, laptop, program Hackupy to Gmail, I think that would be quite useful because I do feel like going to Gmail is quite painful sometimes. Um, program hacking pipe to freeze window. You could have a lot of fun with that, annoying your friends. Um, you could also do program hacking pipe to use SD card storage as well. Um, so other than that, there's other things that you could check out from the main page, but uh, you do not need any drivers. You'll work automatically. It's an open source Python support and learning and education purpose. HID library and develop any programs. And this is how the whole pinouts look like. It has an RP2040 MCU. I have absolutely no idea what that means, but it has an SD card slot um, and 1.14 inch LCD screen and a type A USB, obviously. That's how you connect it to your uh, computer and so on. So um, that's pretty cool, isn't it? So for the moment of truth, let's actually plug in the Hackupy onto my Asus ZenBook. So, oh, you can see the screen, LCD screen is brightened up in yellow. And then, oh, you saw that command prompt and then automatically being directed to the SB Components official website. So this is just a pre-programmed example, just letting you know you can use this as a bad USB, commanding your computer to go to a certain website, which you can also program it to go to uh, your 
YouTube homepage and ask people to subscribe to your channel, all those things you want to do, same as what you can do for Flipper Zero, or again, what I described early on, you can freeze the monitor, freeze the computer, uh, restart, and so on. So that's pretty self-explanatory, isn't it? So if we were to go to um, my PC to see what's inside the Hackupy folder, if we were to zoom right in, here it is, there's a folder called .f7tsd and the folder called lib and then these are the rest of the uh, files. There's the boot out code which is on a Python uh, sort of format and setting. So if we were to go to this folder, it's just no log going up. On this folder, these are the other bits and bobs you can read from here. Um, so this is the uh, Adafruit display text and this Adafruit underscore head, Adafruit image load. Uh, this is Adafruit SD card, Adafruit SD 7789, keyboard layout and so on. So if we were to open up this one, that's how it looks like. And the next one, these are all the keyboard layout and consumer control code, MPY, uh, mouse MPY as well, that's interesting. And lastly, oh, we've got a few more here in Bob's of, of init MPY. These just does not make any sense to me, but I'm sure you guys can figure out what's going on here. So I'm just showing you um, what is currently available as a default for Hackupy, okay? So I guess the greatest strength about Hackupy is not only is ultra compact, it's also very cheap as well. I just couldn't believe my eyes when I actually saw the price tag of 20 pounds. Hence, that's why I thought if I were to spend about 120 uh, quid, it will actually come along with the attachment of all the dongles that I showed you early on. But naively, I don't know anything about these sort of components. I end up having four different units rather than all combined in one. That's how cheap I thought Hackupy was. But I can see that any student who are very interested on uh, doing programming or have a bit of a fun out of it for learning purpose, for ethical purpose that is, um, they could easily buy the Hackupy and play around with it. But also you could justify this saying that, listen, this is just the name of the brand called Hackupy, but in fact, you can actually fit in uh, your um, S micro SD card to function it to appear it as a storage unit. And that's the beauty of it. I actually managed to plug in my 512 gigabyte Samsung uh, SD card and somehow it's not recognized as an SD card, uh, but I'm sure I read early on on the crowdfunding campaign that it says, it could be programmed to be used as an SD card, so I need to look into that as well. But it's a very interesting device, and um, I could see so many people can have fun, and also the GitHub community uh, can build up so that everyone can share each other any good use of it. So I look forward to see all other updates and, um, and so on. So I hope this was a good first impression, but if you have any queries or if you think the presentation I made today is unsatisfactory, please do comment below and I'll try to come back to you as soon as possible. So thank you very much for watching this video. This is LJP Tech. All the best. Bye-bye.